So people, let's have a look how we really move through the golf ball. The best feels, the best drills, the best information. People, this is gonna improve your ball striking immediately. If you are new to the channel, please subscribe. And if you like the video, give us a thumbs up. Guys, all right, let's get started. Can't wait to share this one with you. It really is a fascinating area when we look at professionals versus amateurs. And once amateurs can feel and understand how the downswing works, once they can feel the shoulders and the move, it's like the light bulb goes off. It's like an aha moment. It can literally transform your ball striking immediately. So people, this is how great ball strikers move through the golf ball. This is what they're doing. doesn't matter whether it's past or present. This is how you swing great. Now, unfortunately, there isn't some sort of magic senior swing. There's the optimal way to swing. There's the optimal way, the most efficient way to swing. And if all these players are within a couple of degrees of each other and you're miles away, well, you've got to get closer to it. You've got to do the best you can with what you've got. You've got to understand the averages of movement. The closer you get to these averages, the better you hit the golf ball. So guys, right, let's have a look how we move through the golf ball more effectively. I use this a lot with a lot of my students, and it's a bit of a game changer, just from the effect, the feel that we get, that's number one. But when we actually understand, when we see it visually, look at this drill, it just helps so much, and you can do it everywhere. Let's have a look here. So what, what we're seeing, unfortunately, because it's like a natural move, there's so many unnatural moves in the golf swing. All right. It's a very sensitive topic. Everyone's got their opinion on it. It's amazing. But there's a lot of unnatural moves. What we see with a lot of players from the top of the swing is, unfortunately, they move the right shoulder too far out. Okay, And we're seeing them, even when it's just a little bit, but we're seeing them come in too level. Now, the problem with that is, is that there's compensation moves. You might actually be able to hang onto the plane, but you're out of sync. Maybe your arms will come out. Such an important part to notice when we're getting the right tilt through the golf ball, like the right shoulder moves under, but it moves forwards. Okay, it's almost moving under and forwards. It doesn't just go straight up. Okay, we have to Get a little bit of recentering, but then we're going to work this right side under. Guys, what a great way to see this shoulder working too level and to work this underneath. Now, for some of the senior players, and um, this is an interesting area, you can do the, the best that you can do, right? If you can't bend your body in there like Max Homer, well, well, I understand that, but working a little bit on your flexibility is not a bad thing, but doing the best you can do. We'll tend to move unconsciously into very lazy positions at, at times. And what I try to do is force people to stay a little bit closer to what the young players are doing so that we can move through the ball much more effectively. But this is a great way to have a look at where this right shoulder is kicking out rather than moving under and helps us all deliver that club head more effectively into the back of the ball. All right, guys, have a look at this. All right, touching the right leg. Absolutely flush that, by the way. Okay, so we've got the side bend, the neck tilt, and when you can touch your right knee through the golf ball, this is a great way. Now, you can use it in a practice swing. You can move through the golf ball for yourself and see if you can get down there and touch that your right knee, the side of your right knee. And what this is assuring is that you're turning with a high left pec, moving through the golf ball and you're staying with your body, keeping your body on the side. Really is a great way, great checkpoint, and just a basic way to move through the golf ball. It really helps a lot of people sort of get into that zone here. Let's have a look through the golf ball again, getting it down there. What a great way to check to see if you've got your body on the side. Turning with tilt, turning with a high left shoulder, plowing through a golf ball here. This is a great way to make sure that you don't tip the club over as you keep side bend. This will affect your path your shaft plane, your delivery, your impact, the whole thing. This is really is looking at your finish position, something that's not looked at enough. So people, right, the magic move, really, the easiest way to get the appropriate amount of tilt
tilt and turn in your golf swing. Watch this here, right? Pay attention here. He's actually got his head here very, very level. Now watch what he does when he starts his downswing. He tilts the right eye. He lowers the right eye under the left. And this, people, helps you lower your right side. It helps keep the right arm under the left, but it also helps you turn with the exact amount of tilt. It doesn't matter whether, whether it's an iron shot or a drive, as we can see on the left side of the screen here. You're shifting forwards and tilting this head. Now, let's have a look at a basic drill here, guys, because when you get this in your swing, this is going to help you just rip the thing straight down the line. So people, right, this is a great drill, a great move in the swing, the tilting of your head, the McElroy move. Let's have a look at this. I'll show you how you feel this and how you practice this move and what it does in your golf swing. Now we're gonna hit three balls in succession. We're gonna about a three quarter type of swing both sides. You're not hitting it hard, you're just trying to feel this. What you're gonna do is you're gonna tilt your head completely, your neck on the side. You're gonna lower your eyes, all right? So your right eye from the top of your swing is going to lower but you're still going to move forward so we're tilting and moving forwards and this helps us turn tilt and get into impact great way not to hit a left as your right side stays under your left let's have a look we hit a few shots here and then you can capture or correct your own feels here and as i said just a three-quarter type of motion just a soft shot i've only got like an eight iron here it just helps us sort of feel it a little bit more up to the top and we're going to tilt the head here on the side and you might just hit like a one meter pure fade but really is a fantastic just feel what your body does and into that last one's a bit too far away there and once again tilting the head water dripping out of that right ear and it's a good way to get your chest sort of up as you're moving through the shot. We've got some numbers there with tilts. I'm not gonna to get too technical, but it really is an interesting area. A high left peck, head on the side, tilting that head, but moving forwards, a natural free move, which you can actually turn into a swing thought and use out on the golf course. What class golf instruction is improving golfers between four and 11 shots? Your swing analyst video is the same as this YouTube format, except with your swing on the screen. It goes between 15 to 30 minutes with tailored drills and exercises, a higher level of instruction at a cheaper price. 1,300 videos, 75 separate series. Reach out to us in the chat room and get on the path of playing your best golf. But one of the keys to a great goal swing is getting a lateral shift, but preventing the upper body from moving laterally with it. And this is what we call separation. Now, one of the great visual effects, this is what I use when I teach people, I can hold it next to their head or their knee without getting hit with a golf club. But it's, it's a, a really interesting way to look at the, the way that the upper body and your spine works here through the golf ball. Now, what's important to notice here, guys, when you're working on your swing and you want to improve your technique, it's not that the left shoulder just goes straight up from the top of the swing here. It doesn't do that. Now, what we need to do is we need to shift across a little bit, right? We need to get across, we need to shift. And even your head at the top part of your swing and your transitions, it's probably gonna move a lot of you a little bit over. But as we start to extend the left side, the head will sort of pull back a little bit. But make sure you notice that, okay, that when you get to the top, we're gonna to shift a little bit, and then we're gonna get the feeling that your left pec is working up and extending and back behind you and then you can really feel like you're the incredible hulk and you're breaking through the chains and sticking your chest out and this is a great way to really also influence the the shaft and the plane and the delivery because when we get too much forward bend or when we're turning the same speed as our shoulders do with the hips we see that unfortunately with a lot of club goals amateur goals we're really compromising our delivery position and getting in an awkward position and on worldclassgolf.com we've got a separation a complete separation series which has been extremely popular and has helped so many people improve this separation from the top half to the bottom half which essentially gets everyone in a much better impact position and frees up their entire swing
practicing. Now we're going to go through a drill here to help you feel the position so that when you're practicing at times you can go back, revert to these drills and create those feels again and make sure you're staying inside those essential corridors. Now your shoulders don't work up and down on the same plane. The through swing, the shoulders will work steeper. This helps us hit it from the inside a lot of the time. Helps us create separation and for many people out there will help them create turn. So I'll help them turn better. Take your address position, right? And if you've got the golf club here, I've taken a driver, it's nice and light. I've got the end of the grip pointed down or away from me here. And what I wanna do is when I swing back, I wanna get this grip to point about a yard over the golf ball. All right, I'm gonna estimate, not too flat, and I'm not too low, but get this grip around about a yard here. And if you can create that, getting about a yard away, you're getting the correct tilts and turns. Now on the way through, what I wanna do is try and get the head of the club now to point almost half that. So it just points about half a yard outside that golf ball. A yard outside the golf ball and half a yard. And you'll feel like your head is on the side. You'll feel like your foot rolls in a lot as well. What we see with a lot of people, don't we see the right foot or the trial foot kicking out, unfortunately, and then they're getting, people are getting level here. So once again, point that grip about a yard over the golf ball, swing through and we're getting really this, this club head to point about a half a yard. And you'll start to feel there your tilts and your turns in the golf swing. And that's something to do when you're hitting golf balls. So when you're hitting balls, this is revert back to this drill, create feel so that you know that you're practicing effectively and not practicing mistakes.